So here's here's a basic anatomy just from a mental model picture of a Caverno policy. So a Caverno policy is a standard Kubernetes custom resource, and a policy can be either cluster scoped or namespace scoped. One policy has one or multiple rules. Each rule has a simple match block. It may optionally have an exclude block, but a match block states all of the possibilities that are here. You can use any of these. You can use all of these to define the scope of the resource that you want to apply policy to. And as you can see, there are a lot of different options. A couple things to point out that you won't find in other policy engines that make Caverno even more powerful are things like cluster roles and roles. This isn't normally included in the API server. Caverna will go and look these up so that you can easily match on them without having to write any code at all, in addition to these other things. Inside of that rule, you also declare what type of behavior you want. If it's validation, you're going to validate a resource. That's the yes or no behavior. If it's a mutate rule, that means you're going to change the resource. If it's a generate, that means you're going to ask Caverno to create some new resource for you based upon a definition that you provide. And if it's a verify images, that means that you're going to ask Caverno to go and check the OCI registry for things like signatures and attestations on an image before it's allowed to be pulled in or admitted into the cluster. So that's a high level of what a Caverno policy consists of. So here's an example of what a Caverno policy looks like. And uh, this looks extremely simple. And you might be thinking that, well, this, you know, this is nice, but uh, there's got to be some other components. There's not. This is a fully functional policy. A cluster policy applies to the entire cluster with nothing else that you need to do. Audit mode simply means we're going to allow this through no matter what, but we want to know about it. Background, it's going to check all of the resources that were already in the cluster before you created this policy so that this policy applies to them as well. And some basic things, there's a match block. We're going to look at all pods and we're going to validate. So back on when I described what the rules are, this is a yes or no decision. Validation is going to check and make sure that your label called app.kubernetes.io slash name, which is a, an extremely common label that, that gets applied, has some value. And if it doesn't, it's going to tell you with the return message right there. So this is a fully functional policy that you can install right now. It will not block anything. And it'll tell you in a policy report all of the things that do not have that label. All of the policies in Caverno are written as standard YAML. There's no surprise block scalar, and then you have some esoteric DSL or some other programming language that's stuffed in there. All of the things that Caverno does, we shift away the burden from you, and we put the burden on our shoulders, which allows you to write policies as simple as this that are quickly and easily effective. We handle all the, the difficulties on our side. And by the way, this is a, a very simple example of a policy, but there are tons of examples of far more complex policies that Caverno is able to express just as simply. And down there at the bottom, we have 265 policies, and that number goes up almost every week, that you can use in your environment, uh, not only to solve your use cases, but if you wanted to use those as teaching aids, you can uh, take a look at all of the, the policies that we have and see the, the types of complex use cases that they're able to solve.